It was a distressing case, wasn't it, Zimin, not least for the families of those victims? Yeah, very distressing. Um, not only what occurred back in 2017 to 2018, but also sitting throughout this trial, uh, hearing what those two uh, healthcare workers, uh, a nurse, Catherine Hudson, a senior nurse, it is to be said, uh, and to a healthcare worker, Charlotte Wilmot, were up to, the conversations that they were having uh, with each other, the quite cruel nature of some of those conversations uh, between those two healthcare workers as well. And all that was brought up uh, in the trial where they were found guilty for ill-treating patients, for conspiracy to ill-treating uh, patients, also for theft of drugs and also perverting the, the course uh, of justice. We just go to the, the judge's sentencing remarks there. R judge Robert Altham speaking directly to Catherine Hudson. He said to her that you were in a position of trust and responsibility. You offended against vulnerable people in your care over a significant period. You were the lead offender. You sought to seek assistance from the student that you were supervising. He then sentenced her to um, seven years and two months in prison for her, um, for her role in sedating patients throughout uh, that period of February 2017 and November 2018 at the Blackpool Victoria Hospital. And then to Charlotte Wilmot, um, he sentenced her to three years. He said that your involvement was over a more limited time and Hudson was your superior. I make the same observation uh, to the harm caused for ill treatment. The least I can pass is 16 months on each consecutive to each other, totaling 32 months. So she was sentenced uh, for three years. There was also uh, a third defendant uh, who was sentenced as well, Marek Grabinreski, and he was sentenced to 14 months for perverting the course uh, of justice. He was uh, another member of staff that worked on the stroke ward at Blackpool Victoria Hospital. But this was, as you mentioned, Jane, a very distressing case for uh, family members of those who uh, had members on the stroke ward. Uh, one in particular who has spoken out, who spoke actually directly to Catherine Hudson yesterday, giving his victim impact statement here inside Preston Crown Court. He looked directly at Catherine Hudson, called her evil, spoke about the pain that she had caused uh, him uh, and his mother in particular, who had suffered a stroke when they were both on holiday in Blackpool um, in 2017. Um, now, Brian, um, who's been speaking uh, to us, had actually spoken about the pain that it's not only caused uh, his mother, who uh, was paralysed as a result of the stroke, but also him, who's had to travel up and down the country to come to this court hearing, to be here for his mother, to understand exactly what those people who, were, uh, who, who, who had carried out, essentially, what was a sedation attack uh, on his mother uh, would receive in terms of a sentencing here in Preston. Um, we can actually uh, hear from Brian what he had told us uh, in an interview about the sentencing, in particular about those two healthcare workers uh, who had carried out this ill treatment towards his mother Aileen. It's pure evil in my mind. That, they've, that wasn't just something that they went to, you know, there, there's a lot of planning that was going on in that. You could hear that through these messages, the way they were speaking about the patients, they were planning what they were going to do that night to those patients. I, I just don't understand it. I just don't understand why anybody, they're there to help people rehabilitate, recover and hopefully discharge to home. The judge addressing the uh, defendants as well, saying that these offences were committed by these defendants whose duty it was to protect and to care for their patients who were as vulnerable as anyone could be. Theft couldn't leave the stroke unit and found it difficult to make uh, themselves understood. Of course, those patients were amongst the very sick. They were in a stroke unit. A lot of them couldn't communicate with those who were looking after them. And it was uh, Catherine 
Catherine Hudson, a senior nurse who has been jailed for seven years and two months for sedating patients, for ill-treating uh, patients, for also stealing drugs from the hospital that she worked at and for also perverting the course of justice. Charlotte Wilmot also sentenced for three years for conspiring to ill-treat patients, for conspiring to steal drugs from the hospital and also perverting the course of justice.